Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon. Uh, the reason I'm at the file select screen is because I wanted to make the intro here, because we immediately have a cutscene slash song, so here we go. Okay, that might actually be my most favorite song in the entire game. I love that song. I don't know why, I just do. It's just a very epic and funny song to listen to. Especially with the, uh, you know, the, the Japanese vocals. Uh, so here we have Impact. Impact is a giant uh, beat-em-up robot. He's technically the fifth character you get in the game, but you only use him during these sections right here. Uh, for this part, you just have to make it your way to the end of the level. You can't necessarily die. You can that can happen, but like you won't like lose any lives or anything like that. It's just a small inconvenience, I guess you could say. Uh, but basically, you want to smash as much as you can right here because um, how much you smash here will actually depend on the ammunition you have in this upcoming boss fight that we'll have after we get to the end of this road. Uh, that's another thing this game has. They have, you know, normal boss fights like we had with Congo, and then we have these giant robot fights, which are actually pretty cool, but you only get, like, three of them in the entire game. And the other two are near, closer to the end of the game, so you won't get to see the robot fights very much. So here it is. Here is the first robot fight. I believe this guy was actually in the opening cutscene. Kashawagi, the wartime Kabuki robots. <clears throat> okay, so here's how you fight. Uh, you can press A to punch, B to punch, uh, B is a quicker punch. Uh, if you hit the Z button, you can fire uh, Ryo at the boss. But basically, you want to wait till he charges in closer to you, and then you want to, uh, you know, punch him or do something like that. And then, of course, you can hit him from a range, too, with your uh, Ryu, so... Uh, you can fight him in a variety of ways, and there are actually a few special moves you can do as well. I'm not doing that good right now, as you can see. I've actually lost quite a bit of health. And you can also use your uh, chain pipe and reel him in. And then do some uh, nice little hits on him. It's actually a very cheap way to use the uh, chain pipe, because you can easily get a lot of hits in very quickly. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Uh, there are also a few other moves that you can do that like the game doesn't really tell you about. I'll explain those later. Or I'm, I'll, I'll definitely show off one of them in this boss fight. Uh, there's another one that I actually have to look up before I do. And I'm going to grab you before you fly off. If he flies off, he's going to do another very annoying attack, so you don't want that to happen. And yeah, if you do a combo just right, you'll sometimes kick him instead of just punching him, so... I think that does a little extra damage. I think, anyways. Jeez, okay, I'm not doing that well here. For some reason, I'm not getting all my punches in when I need to. When he tries to do his special attack, I'll show off uh, my first special attack. Oh, okay, well, I'll show off the special attack first.
His special attack is he'll summon a clone of himself that will actually do quite a bit of damage, so you want to make sure you don't take any damage during this phase. And, oh dang it, okay, well, I took a lot of unnecessary damage right there. Okay, will you stop doing that? Oh shoot. There we go. <laughs> that is the mouth laser. To activate the mouth laser, you have to press uh, C up. C Wait, no. I'm trying to remember the combination. I believe it's uh, C up, C right, C down, C left, and then the Z button or C right. Wait, let me let me try to say that again. You press C up, C right, C down, C left and then Z, but you can only do it in that little meter in the middle of the screen is max. Not like right now, but um, you see those green bars? Once they're all the way at the top, you can do the mouth laser. It's a very, very powerful attack. Oh dang it, I couldn't quite do it right there. Oh well. Anyways, the other special attack I believe is a rapid fire punch. I'm probably not going to be able to show that off though, unless he does the uh, talk to the hand move again. Or when he gets that close. I mean, dang it. Okay, I still have plenty of health, though, so I should be okay. Okay, he's done. Okay, that was, uh... The Wartime Kabuki Robot Kasawagi. I took a lot more damage than I probably should have, but I am kind of rusty when it comes to those fights. Considering I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. <laughs> I love how he winks at us right there. And for some reason they show the title of the game right there. I'm not really sure why, but whatever. Well, I have to get going. We're filming a movie. First, I have to get to America. If you need me again, call me. Okay, so Impact is going to go to America while we're here in Japan, trying to solve... What? 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 Okay, um... That's not good. Um, I'll continue. I don't... Okay, that's actually not very good because yeah I might have just lost all this data right here which is definitely not good I'll have to check out my controller pack then I guess um, <laughs> Wow I really hope this doesn't like postpone the project or anything oh well uh, let's not worry about it right now. Let's just keep playing and see if maybe it'll fix itself during the project. I doubt it will, but you never know. And I believe if we walk through these gates right here... New character! It's Yai, or Yay, whatever her name is. I don't know pronunciation. Well, so were we. Secret Ninja Agent Hiai has begun to investigate the strange occurrences happening throughout Japan. They are thought to be caused by the mysterious Flight Gang. And did you find anything out about the Flight Gang? Well, all I found out was that there are several members who call themselves the Peach Mountain Shoguns. Peach Mountain? <laughs> I don't know why, I've always liked that quote right there.
So here we go, we have a new character. Secret Ninja Ally Yai. Yay, whatever her name is. Again, I'm probably going to be calling her both names throughout the entire of the project until, like, people correct me enough. But I really don't care. <laughs> they're pronunciations that I'm not used to, so, I mean, they're, it's understandable. Okay, so this is Zazentown. This is the uh, shopping district, I believe, where you have, like, the uh, inn and all the, like, item shops and the restaurants and stuff. So, if you need to save your game, which I apparently can't right now, uh, this is your best bet and the best place for you to go. Okay, straight ahead, the Gojo Ohashi Bridge. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, stop right there. If you want to get by here, hand over the treasure you have. Well, come on, what is it going to be? Um, apparently we don't have any treasure with us, so... I'll take a different route. Ha ha ha, you coward! Hey, don't call a girl a coward. Whatever. Okay, so it looks like we have to find another way to get by that guy. So let's go through here. Uh, this takes us to the other side of Zazentown. And I believe there's a fortune doll you can get right here if you hit this thing enough times. And I am correct. Hooray. With two more, we can increase our health, even though I probably won't have that health anymore since I have to, like, find a different controller pack or something. I really don't know what's up with that. I mean, I really hope I don't have to get, like, another controller pack, because, well, I don't really have one. <laughs> Actually, no, I do. I just don't have it with me, but I should be able to film enough episodes before I go home to actually fix that problem. Okay, wait, I didn't read these signs very carefully. Okay, this way, the Shikuku region. Okay, I don't need to go there yet. Over here, we have the Golden Temple. Don't need to go there either. And Mount Niogatake. Again, don't need to go there either, so... Let's go this way instead. Let's go to the Duck Creek. I have no idea why, but we're going to the Duck Creek. Because we're going to go play with ducks. No, we're not. If only it were that simple. If only, if only, if only. Okay, um, this part coming up is actually kind of annoying. Well, not really annoying, I just don't like it. It's just like a very boring segue into the next part of the game. Hi, what do you want? Um, do you know Ben K? Of course I do, he's like a follower to me. Wait a sec, I bet you're trying to get across the Gojo Ahashi Bridge that Ben K is blocking. Am I right? Well, yeah, of course. Just do me a favor and I'll tell you how to deal with him. Okay, um, sure. Okay, so I have to catch him some fish. Uh, first I have to catch three blue fish. Okay, there's two right here, so I'll go ahead and grab those. You just have to walk through them. You don't have to, like, you know, catch them with, like, a fishing rod or anything like that. Thank God. Fishing in video games doesn't really work that well, in my opinion. I never liked any of the fishing you had to do in the 3D Zelda games. Um, need I mention Sonic Adventure Battle? Or not, no, Sonic Adventure DX, or the original Sonic Adventure. I mean, the fishing in that game was just terrible. Okay, so five yellow fish now. Okay, I believe you can get all five yellow fish if you go this way. Um, wait, am I missing any over here that I didn't see? No, I'm not. Okay, let's keep going then. Okay, nothing over here. There's some yellow fish. Come here. Here, fishy, fishy. I just had to make that Mario Fundamentals reference. I just had to. Okay. 
Okay, maybe there's not enough yellow fish here. I don't really remember. Okay, there's one right here. Is there another one? Okay, no, there's not. Okay, so I have to go all the way back and then go the other way, but I think there's a yellow one just in that next room, so I should be fine. But yeah, I never really liked this part of the game because it's like, okay, let's catch fish. whoop dee doo My entire life, I've always wanted to catch fish. It's been my lifelong dream. And also, something else I've noticed that kind of, you know, deals with the whole, like, impaired N64 hardware. Um, for some reason, my controller's a little weird. Um, for some reason, like, whenever I move straight forward, I don't always move the fastest that I can. Like, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm doing okay right now, but, like, at random points, I'll slow down a little bit when I'm pressing the control stick forward. I guess my, like, control stick's, like, worn or something. I don't know. This is a very old N64 controller, so that's probably why. Okay, so now we need to catch eight red fish. What's he need so many fish for? And why does he need specific numbers of different colors? Like, what's he have against blue fish? He only wants three of those, but for some reason, the red fish, he has to have eight of them. I don't know. Video game logic. Video game logic and the people in video game logic, I guess you could say. But yeah, like right there, like... See, like I'm not running the fastest that I could run. But if I like, you know, just press the control stick over just slightly... I'm somehow running this way, so, like, my control stick is definitely worn out for some reason. Again, it's probably just because it's old. I mean, I, I had a, I've, I've had an N64 since pretty much release dates. If not, like, you know, a few months after release dates, so... I mean, it, it's only understandable that... Like, 15 years into the future, the controllers are probably not going to work as well. But whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we're we almost done here, because I'm getting kind of tired of this. I hate stupid fish. Okay, there we go. I think we have eight. It did say eight right there, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. But knowing me, I must be wrong. Okay, here's your fish. All right, you did it! With all this fish, I won't go hungry for some time. Okay, whatever. Okay, so he's gonna give us an item that will... Um, deal with Binke, who's blocking the bridge. It's an Achilles heel. So we're going to use this item to get rid of Binke, or Binke, whatever his name is. Once again, pronunciations... Okay, so let's go over here. Hey, you over there. If you want to cross this bridge... Ugh! I can see in your eyes. You want to fight. Very well. However, if you lose, I will blast you far, far away. Well, well. It's a fight with Binke. Look for the instant Binke reaches the ground when jumping. And throw the Achilles heel at him three times within the time limit. The item can be thrown by pressing the B button. Okay, there we go. We shall begin! Okay. This really isn't that difficult. You just have to throw it at him when he la and make sure it hits him when he lands. And there is a little bit of a delay when you throw the item, so... Make sure you time for that. Ever since the Achilles heel was thrown at Bin K. Achilles heel was meant to be the weak point of someone. There's something fishy about that story. <laughs> I love how Abyssumaru just like interrupts the narrator right there. Ooh, he's gonna give us something from his collection. What? 
What? Th that was part of his collection? Why did he have a person as his collection? What whatever. It's technically like a little robot, but still. It's the mechanical ninja Sasuke. Okay, so, yeah, we've received the Mechanical Ninja Sasuke, or Sasuke, whatever his name is, pronunciation. 